Hey, Cancer. Hi, Cancer. What's our card of the day, Alice? Um, this is the magic and nature from the fairy oracles. And I don't know if I can read that. And it's a reminder that nature is part of us. And it is the healing part of us. So, and that is its magic. So if you're feeling some kind of way and you need some kind of healing, embrace nature. Go out and hug trees and enjoy the birds singing and become one. Take your shoes off and walk on the earth. Let the grass slide between your toes. Connect with the animals. The no butterflies. Yes. Plant a flower. Exactly. Or a garden. Or she has magic. Yes, she does. Mm, I love it. All right. Norm. Norm. I think he pulled that one. All right, who's going first, Alice? You go first, because I... it's our sign, and I'm really excited. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I, I know we have obstacles ahead, because we're such feely creatures and and we have a lot to deal with in that area but i feel like because we're so feely that it's giving us an advantage in the new understanding of consciousness so i'm excited mm -hmm. but you know it's new territory so it i is. think i think that the energy that i'm feeling is gonna reflect in the cards because i'm excited i mean this is new areas of possibility and it's simple. Okay. But well, let's see. Okay, so as I was shuffling, I got two cards in the Moonology deck. The first card was the new moon in Sagittarius. And it says, luck is on your side. Okay. And as I went to pick this card up as it fell out, I realized that there was a second card. And this is the full moon in Taurus. And it says, your dreams need a pr practical plan. Spirit needs help. Yes. Yes. And then I went to the Enchanted Map. And the card in Enchanted Map, Oracle, is Intention. So along with your practical plan for your dreams, you have to set your intention. Now... Being a cancer, I know that sometimes I let things get in the way and I get sidetracked and I always tend to put my dreams on hold until I have no other choice. <clears throat> that being said, we have the lovers and lovers are all about choices. And whoever this lover is, you kind of feel like your strength is gone. You don't feel like you can handle any more that's going to be thrown at you. However, we've got the hanged man upside down. Which means a choice is getting ready to be made and you are about to make some major changes. You're in a resting period right now with the Four of Swords. Taking some time to breathe and heal and... Be in our shell. Relax, yes. Drawn back into our shell. That might be because Mercury is getting ready to go retrograde. Oh, that hole. <sighs> it's that communication thing, right? It's that communication thing and it's things being taken away out of proportion. And somebody I better keep have... my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's somebody saying genuinely, have a nice day. I'm really meaning 
No, that's somebody saying genuinely have a nice day and you're over here. What the fuck did they mean by that? What do you mean have a nice day? Wait, it depends on who it is. Right? Some people could tell you have a nice day and you actually feel that have a nice day. Right. And, you know. Yeah, except when it's Mercury Retrograde who has all your communication skills jumbled the fuck up and they really meant have a nice day. Like, really genuinely have a nice day. And you're over here going, what the fuck do you mean have a nice day? What do you mean by that? What are you trying to tell me to have a shitty day? No, I really meant have a nice day. Huh. And then we have the Page of Cups. Which is a message coming in that you really don't want to hear. Well, I can see that. Yeah. And then we got the devil over here. Mm. Yeah, I really didn't like seeing the devil because the devil is all about addictions and codependency, codependency and coercion and perversion and manipulation yes so i had to clarify it and we got the six of swords upside down and the king of cups so i'm really getting the feeling that whoever this devil is and i'm sure that you already know but whoever this devil is is coming in with the king of cups energy gonna be all nice and suave and the only reason that he's here is to put a hole in your boat, flip it over, sink it. I don't know. This is kind of looking chaos. like. This is kind of looking like. Have you ever seen the movie White Squall? Yeah. 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 Where the boat gets capsized and, and the lady the dies mm -hmm. in the boat. Yeah. Jeff Bridges. It's a wonderful movie. You know that's about the, teamwork, really. That's the energy that I'm getting here, that's and chaos, with then. with the with the the lovers card back over here, mm -hmm. I'm getting the feeling that the lovers this, and the devil. Yes. Okay. That this person, it might be a past energy coming back, trying to offer you this cup from the King of Cups. But I'm getting the feeling that they're only here to, to, to rock your boat. To see if you learned whatever you were supposed to learn from this and flip your boat right back up. Get the hell out of my phone. Yeah. What do you, what that's do you a have chaos to... maker then is what you're saying. Kind of. So that's the king of cups that represents uh, the... Well, he's coming in. The hard energy, yeah. He's coming in like he's the King of Cups, but with he could this be a faker with that double with this energy. right, which is what I'm saying. With this, it it's kind of it, it's like the moon is missing, yeah. but the moon is 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 lurking because something's not being shown, and you're gonna see through it with this. I think I I kind of man I kind of see through it too, just with what's there because I think. In a way, that love we have is a weakness. Yes, you know. Yes, we we it's 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 actually a strength, but right now it that love that that special you know, the lovers yeah. in the right relationship is a very good card. But, but with this lovers, devil book ending it, um, and the strength. Of this also down. this also could be a situation that it, it, it it's the lovers but it's a relationship that's based on sex not on what the or lovers stand for it's based on lust let's say you can lust for more things than sex though fair enough there's yeah fair enough what do you have to clarify um I don't know, let's see. I actually have a better feeling because I think this is kind of what we have been going through and I think the oracles are saying, hold on, let's make a plan. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what I'm feeling. So let's see what I got. Now I got the Cheryl Lee Hernish um, uh, Path, or no, Return of Spirit deck. Mm -hmm. And I have one of the cards from that. And what you get? Change of mind. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's some pretty shitty energy. So let's see if we can flip it around a little bit. Let, let's see. Let's see what what maybe 
we can do about that because I'm I don't know I feel hopeful. Oh, there's the sword of truth. There's a knight of wands. There's the world. Oh hell yes. Oh hell yes. I like is this. Is that the Empress? No, that is the Queen of Wands. Oh, okay. Okay, now and right after the world and the page of wands or the knight of wands. So Oh nice. Yeah. And the Ace of Swords. Now, the, uh, you start off kind of shitty with this heartbreak that's being reflected over here. And it, you're feeling like that heart has betrayed you, maybe, or whatever. But it's not true. It's not true. And you're starting to see that that's actually a superpower that people don't understand yet. And you are a pro at love, my dears. It does not betray you. The world has betrayed it. And you know it. And you're going to start getting passionate. Getting passionate about that truth. And not taking this heartache anymore. You're going to change your mind on this shit over here. You aren't going to accept this devil. You aren't going to let him flip your boat. And act like he's all that. Well, that's some good news. Yeah. This is what yeah. I'm seeing. That's and you're going to do news. it with force. Because you're going to change your world. And when you come out of it, you're going to be one magical. <laughs> Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. This Queen of Wands energy, uh, after everything that's been going on here... Is going to be so beautiful, especially for Cancer, because Cancer just sucks loves, and you know she's going to be a just, magical, divine creator, a responsible co-creator. And I can't, I can't wait to see what's next. I really can't, because this is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm feeling is ahead, because Cancers, let's just face it, um, we're kind of like the the the. Oh, poor you type people. I mean, we put our, our well, shit aside. Cancers are nurturers. Yeah, okay. we put our shit aside to try and help others. Oh, look. There's a double knight of wands right there. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Because that's a new beginning. Um, That's ideas. Okay. That's new ideas that's going to help. That's the bridging energy right there. He's bringing you new, new ideas, new passions. He's gonna ignite. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good thing. After you let go of that shit back here, and you realize that that love that you carry is not a weakness. It's what the world needs, and it's a gift you have. And people will try to stomp it and tromp on it and not understand it and kill it and stick swords in it and. Put you in the nine of, of swords energy with every sword you probably have in your hand. It doesn't matter. It's coming out of this energy. That's what this is about. And you need to do it by getting rid of that energy. You have to make that tower fall. Put your foot down. Change your mind. I'm not putting up with it anymore. I don't deserve it. What is inside me is beautiful. It's special. And now I understand it. And you're going to start getting messages. Is that the... That's page the Page of Pentacles. You're going to start getting messages. And with this double Knight of Wands. And the Wands could be passionate new ideas. And with this Pentacles here, I think it's going to be new ideas. It's going to make you some jingle jingle, honey. Because this bitch, she for real. She ain't play. She got money. She got everything. She is the catch. She's got magic. She's got beauty. She's got naughtiness. Oh, yeah. Every man wants her. Every woman wants to be her. That's on the good side. Now, she's got a dark side, too, if you fuck with her. She's strong. She ain't a queen for nothing. And... That's going to be you. 
if you listen and take action. If you take out what's no longer serving you with this tower, which is all those ideas that you're weak, and you start listening to the messages. Oh, look what showed up here. I was just talking about these two. That's the alternative. If you want to keep thinking you're weak, this is what weak gets you, baby. You're going to have to go through the nine of swords. And that's every time you've allowed yourself and your truth to become a victim. And you're getting tired of it. That's the ten of swords. That's the end of the cycle. At the end of the cycle, there is always a new beginning. All right, you're at that new beginning. You have to make a choice. You have to take some action on which cancer you want to be. Do you want to actually bring that love that you've been given the gift of and make it a strength? Because it is. It's amazing. People don't understand it right now. But they're coming to. Absolutely. So, in the end, here's on the bottom of the witch's tarot, the wheel of fortune. Let's see what's on the bottom. What is that? Mm -hmm. That's the divine hand that we're looking at. Yes. I hope. You make the right choice for this card showing up. Change Sweetheart. your mind. Change your mind. Change your mind and let's see what this one says. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I love spirit. There you go, cancers. That's what's ahead for you. All you gotta do is change your mind. I love you. Mwah. Be blessed. Best blessed be. Namaste. Namaste.